Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we praise. Lift up your hand now. So to appreciate the Lord. Give him glory and honor for the privilege to appear in his presence. For the answers to our prayer we pray today. Father, we give you glory. Thank you for the privilege to appear in thy presence, Lord. Thank you for the answers to our prayer. We return all the glory and honor to you. For in Jesus' name. Mighty now ask the Lord to send his word to you. For the Bible says he send his word, deliver them, and heal them from every kind of oppression. Father Lord. Baba, send us thy word. The word is a tool of liberation. The word is a tool of restoration. Your word is a tool of wonder, signs, and miracles. Send us thy word today. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now go before the Lord. Table your expectation before him. What are you expecting to receive in this service today? Table it before the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, the expectation of a righteous person shall not be cut off. In the name of Jesus, meet us in a point of our expectation via your word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Clap your hands together for Jesus. And please be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to take this up is this uh, opportunity na to appreciate the Lord and his servant our father in the house for this rare privilege to bring the word of the Lord thank you sir and I pray the same grace operating in his life shall be with me here I once said in our meeting with staff there Nilisema katika eh, ibada pamoja na wafanyakazi pale that uh, I consider myself kwamba huwa najiona that my duty is not to preach kazi yangu si kuhubiri Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I given an opportunity to preach is just a privilege. There are a lot of things to do in the house of the Lord. Kuna mambo mengi ya kufanya katika nyumba ya Mungu. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That means as we cooperate together assisting our father for this work. God is going to bless us. Mungu It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter you are working in a particular corner and no one see you. Haijarishi unafanya kazi mahala fulani na hakuna anayekuona. You be sure that God is seeing you. Uwe na hakika kwamba Mungu anakuona. And he will reward you. Na atakupa thawabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our prophetic focus for this month is I am for signs and wonders. Mimi ni wa ishara na ajabu. I am for signs and wonders. Mimi ni wa ishara na ajabu. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. Isaiah 8 verse 18. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. Isaiah 8 verse 18. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and for wonders. Mimi na watoto hawa niliopewa na Bwana tu ishara na ajabu from the Lord of hosts kwa Bwana wa majeshi who dwells in Mount Zion. Yeye akae katika mlima Sayuni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you put it in expanded uh, version expanded Bible? Hebuweka katika tafsiri nyingine. Expanded Bible. Tafsiri nyingine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Expanded Bible says like this. I am here and with me. Our children the Lord has given me. We are signs and proof for the people of Israel. From the Lord. Powerful one. Who lives on Mount Zion? Praise Jesus. It was Isaiah saying here that he and the children that God has given him. He said they are the signs. They are the proof to the people of Israel. 
Praise Master Jesus. They are the proof to the people of Israel. From the Almighty God. Who dwells in Zion. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. In another way, he was saying like this. I and these children you see here. We are to prove that there is God in heaven. We are to prove that there is God dwelling in Zion. In other way, he was saying like this. I don't need to open a Bible for you to believe there is God there. When you see me and these children here, we are the proof that there is a powerful God in heaven. That is Master Jesus. That means you and I. We need to prove to this generation. That there is God in heaven. That there is a powerful God. By the signs, wonders and miracles that are happening in our life. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Nowadays we don't need to open a Bible. You are the walking Bible. That's what the Bible tells us. We are the proof. We have to prove to this generation that God is there in heaven. And he is not a normal God. He is a powerful God. He is a miracle working God. He is a God who does signs, miracles, and wonders. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That means our life are ordained to be signs and wonders. To prove in this generation that there is God. Tell your neighbor Forget about the Bible You are the proof you have to prove to this generation that there is God in heaven Praise Master Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah This means now We don't need uh, to open uh, the Bible for the people to know that there is God in heaven but when they look to us they have to confess clearly that we have seen God in you one day Jesus was telling his disciples why are you asking me to show you the father so if you have seen me you have seen the father praise master Jesus hallelujah hallelujah the way you walk in that office. The way you walk in that office. The way you do business. The way you do in your career. People must see God through those things. One day in an Acts of Apostles. Apostle. Yeah, Paul and Barnabas were preaching somewhere. They did miracle signs and wonder there. And the people shouted in Lyconian language that the God has come down in a form of man. Praise Master Jesus. They did signs, miracles, and wonders. The people say it has never happened this kind. This must be gods. Don't they say the gods has come down in the form of, of men? That should be your story in this month. In, in the name of Jesus. Our teaching series for the midweek services is operating in the supernatural. Operating in the supernatural. Our father started yesterday by saying supernatural is the very root of redemption. Nothing validates our redemption at the supernatural. When a believer disregards the place of supernatural, he becomes 
vulnerable to all life situation and circumstances kama mtu akipuuzie ile nafasi ya hungu anakuwa katika hatari ya mambo mbalimbali ya maisha what is supernatural hungu ni nini our dad said yesterday baba yetu alisema siku is operating in the realms of signs miracles and wonders ni kutembea katika viwango vya ishara miujiza na maajabu a word supernatural neno hungu comes from the word natural linatoka katika neno ya kawaida natural means normal kawaida inamaanisha ni kitu cha kawaida Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Human beings operate as other normal human beings. Watu au wanadamu wanatembea kama tu wanadamu wengine wa kawaida. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There is a normal way of conduct as a human being. Kuna namna ya kawaida ya kuenenda kama mwanadamu. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But there is also a supernatural. Lakini kuna namna nyingine ya kiungu. That means this human being now ambayo sasa huyu mwanadamu is not operating normally. Hatembei kikawaida kama wanadamu wengine. He's operating differently. Anatembelea tofauti. Different from other human beings. Anaenenda tofauti na binadamu now, wengine. That is what we call supernatural. Hicho ndio cho tunaita uungu. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Operating in supernatural means kutembea katika uungu kuna maanisha. Walking in supernatural kutembea katika mambo ya kiungu au yasiyo ya kawaida which means living a life or in a realm which miracles signs and wonders happen on their own hiyo inamaanisha kuishi katika ulimwengu ambao ishara miujiza na ajabu inatokea hiyo yao yenyewe a life where miracles signs and wonder becomes normal to you and your life maisha ambayo ishara miujiza na majabu yanakuwa ya kawaida kwenye maisha for example our, our bishop askofu wetu bishop david yedepo askofu david yedepo one day he came from the trip Siku moja alikuwa ametoka katika safari na akaenda nyumbani kwake. Akakutana na mke wake pale. His wife told him that. Mke wake akamwambia kwa. I've got miscarriage. Nime mimba imeharibika. I went to the hospital. Nimeenda hospitali. Doctor examined me. Daktari akanipima. Then they told me that I have miscarriage. Wakaniambia kwamba mimba imeharibika. The baby is die as died. Mtoto amekufa. She is no more there. Hayupo tena. While she was talking like that. Alipokuwa akizungumza hivyo. Bishop told her. Skofu akamwambia. It cannot happen. Haiwezi kutokea. Can I have my food please? Nipatie chakula changu Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The discussion ended there. Yale mazungumzo yakaishia hapo. And the miscarriage was cancelled. Na ile kuharibika kwa mimba kukaishia hapo. At ninth month, month. Na ulikuwa ni mwezi wa 9. In the ninth month of that of that uh, of that uh, pregnancy. Na ilipofika mwezi wa 9 ule ujauzito. That mom gave birth yule mama aliza a healthy bouncing baby boy mtoto wa kiume mwenye afya who is, njema who is now uh, david oyedepo junior ambaye ndio uh, david oyedepo mdogo master jesus bwana yesu asifiwe it is it has become normal to our, our bishop david oyedepo imekuwa kawaida kwa askofu oyedepo he was not disturbed by that situation hakusumbuka na hiyo taarifa he knew that that thing cannot happen halijua kwamba hicho kitu hakitotokea and he knew that if he cancel it it won't happen na halijua kama aki toa kitatokea haleluya for example we see philip in the bible tunamuona mfano wa philip kwenye biblia praise master jesus he was asifiwe. preaching somewhere alikuwa akihubiri mara flani and the bible tells us that na biblia inatuambia holy ghost took him roho mtakatifu akamchukua he was not seen there again hakuonekana pale tena drop him in another place akampeleka mahala pengine where he preached to a egyptian a, 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 a ethiopian enoch ambapo alimhubiria yule mkushi after preaching to that ethiopian enoch baada ya kumhubiria yule mkushi the spirit of the living god took him again roho mungu akamchukua tena take him to another place akampeleka mahala pengine where he continued to preach the gospel there ambapo aliendelea kuhubiri ile injili that is a life of supernatural hayo ndio maisha ya uungu praise master jesus bwana yesu now what in, in supernatural sasa kutembea katika means uungu. living a life where miracles signs and wonder becomes normal to you inamaanisha kuishi kama maisha ambayo ishara miujiza maajabu inakuwa ya kawaida kwako we are redeemed to walk in supernatural tumekombolewa ili kutembea katika mambo ya every kiyo. child of god is ordained to operate in a supernatural kila mwana wa mungu amekusudiwa kutembea katika uungu john chapter 3 verse 8 yohana 3:8 john chapter 3 verse 8 yohana 3:8 The wind blows where it listeth and thou hears the sound thereof but canst not tell whence it comes and whither it goes so is everyone that is born of the spirit Upepo uvumo pendako na sauti yake waisikia lakini ujui utokako wala unakokwenda kadhalika na hali yake kila mtu aliyezaliwa kwa roho Haleluya Haleluya Praise Jesus Bwana asifiwe I was reading this uh, this scripture nilikuwa nasoma ile andiko in a particular vision of version of bible kwa tafsiri fulani ya biblia nyingine na bible 
Can you put it in the expanded Bible, please? That scripture studio. You can have it. Okay, studio. Come on, we're not here. Praise Master Jesus. When Jesus is filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't have, if you don't have it, put amplified Bible there. Come on, we're not here. Here, yeah. Amplified. Studio for Fanuli was here. Amplified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, "The wind blows where it wills." And, and though you hear its sound yet you neither know where it comes from and where it goes so it is with everyone who is born of the spirit praise master jesus hallelujah hallelujah the Bible tells us the wind blows where it wants to go. You can hear its sound. But you can't know. You can't tell where it comes from. Where it is going. It, say it is the same. That everyone who is born in the spirit. If you are born of the spirit. You become like a wind. That means you have the same characteristics of the wind. You have the same features of the wind. That is what the Bible is trying to tell us. Here. It says that when you are born again, you carry the same features like a wind. Praise Master Jesus. What are the features of the wind now? It says that you can't see it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you see the wind? You can see. Now, if the Bible tells us when we are born again, we have the same features of wind. If the wind is not seen, that means you are not supposed to be seen. When you are born again, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You know, I, I read a particular story in a book uh, in Second Kings chapter six, verse sixteen. It is Elisha and his servant Gehaz. His servant Gehaz saw a number of army coming against them. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he told his master, Elisha, we are finished. See the great army is coming against us. What should we do? Elisha told him, worry not young man. Those who are in our side, Wale 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 are many than them. Ni wengi kuliko wao. They are more than them. Ni wengi kuliko wao. Praise Master Jesus. Wane Yesu asifiu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he prayed to God and God opened the eyes of Gehazi. Na mungu waka fungua macho wa Gehazi. Then he saw the chariots of God. Na kaona majeshi ya farasi wengi. Praise Master Jesus. Wane Yesu asifiu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what I want you to note. Hichi ndicho nataka ujua. When that army came close to them. Yeshi le lipo wa karibia. Elisha did not hide. Elisha kujificha. He got out. Alitoka. He turned outside his house there. Akatoka nje kwa. They met him there. Wakakutana naye. The Bible say Elisha prayed to God that he should blind them. Biblia inasema Elisha kamuomba Mungu kwamba awatie upofu wale. When they met him there. Walipokutana naye. They asked Elisha. Wakamuuliza Elisha. 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 They told him hello sir. Wakamwambia They didn't know that if he is Elisha. How could you come and excuse me sir. Wakamwambia tafadhali. We are looking for the guy called Elisha. Tunamtafuta mtu anaitwa Elisha. We had the servant of God. He is troubling our nation. We have been sent to catch him. They are talking to Elisha. That they are looking for Elisha. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They couldn't see him. Elisha told them. They told them. Elisha kawambia. Let me go and show you where Elisha is. Goja ni kawonyesha Elisha aliko. Then he took them. Wakamchukua. To the camp of Israelian. Wakapeleka kwenye hiyo kambi ya Israelians. Ya wa Israel. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And when they were there, na walipokuwa hapo, in the camp of Israelians. Katika ile kambi ya wana wa Israel. In the midst of the camp of Israelians. Katikati ya kambi ya wana wa Israel. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Their eyes were open. Macho yao yakafunguka. They found out that they were surrounded. Wakagundua kwamba wameshazingirwa. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They couldn't see Elisha. Hakuweza kuona Elisha. Because Elisha was operating supernaturally. Kwa sababu Elisha alikuwa akienda juu. He came like a wind. Akawa kama upepo. 
in this month we are not supposed to be seen with our enemy our enemies are not supposed to see us on behalf of God's servant I decree and declare your enemies will not see you in this month in the name of Jesus they won't see you they will take your name to the witch doctor and which doctor will do his examination he will say this we cannot see him praise master Jesus yes that is our nature when we, when we are born again also wind cannot uh, you cannot determine where the wind comes from or where it goes you can't, you can't explain you can't determine it may decide to go this way suddenly it decided to move this way suddenly it decided to move this way you can't determine the direction of wind that means when we are born again we become like a wind you cannot determine our direction direction. Praise Master Jesus. You cannot determine our direction. They will say, oh, he's falling down. He is finished. He will never rise again in his business. Soon they find you are, you are booming in your business. Later they find that your business is expanding. That is the life of a, of a Christian who is born again. You can't explain his life. Praise Master Jesus. It is like the wind. wind. You cannot see it. You, you cannot determine where it goes or where it comes from. But you you see the effect of it. You can see maybe the trees are shaking. You can see the roof of power want to move out. The roof of houses want to move out. Praise Master Jesus. It's the same to you who, who you have been born again. They will not be able to determine your move, your direction. But they will see your proof. That surely you are the son of the living God. Praise Master Jesus. Also, fear. Praise Master Jesus. The wind is unstoppable. You cannot stop a wind. That's the same applies to the person who is born again. You cannot stop him or her. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 One day. <laughs> One day, our previous day there, Siku moja huko nyuma, we uh, I had a friend na rafiki. who his brother had a house there in Bezi Makabe. Maramba Mawili, Bezi Maramba Mawili. Yes, his brother has got a house there at Bezi Maramba Mawili. Bezi Maramba Mawili. So, so it, was, uh, it was rainy that day. Na mvua siku hiyo. After the rain finished, it came a kisho. windy situation. Ukaja upepo. Now, the family of this brother were inside that house. But that brother was, tra he was traveled, he was not there with them. So, after discovering that the wind is coming, they decided to close the door. Then they closed the windows. Then they just relaxed in the sitting room there. Say now we have already defeated uh, this wind. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They couldn't know that they won't be able to stop the wind. And the wind we are talking about here is not that kind of wind. You are just when you wind, doing like this. Eh? It's not this kind of wind you get by blowing yourself with newspaper. No so paper. Paper, no, when we are talking about wind, we are talking about storm. When yourself you become like a storm, you kibunga. cannot stop the storm. Now, after, after closing the door, and they closed the windows, relaxing now in the sitting room, they were joying and rejoicing. We have defeated the wind. Ay, 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 you cannot stop the storm. The storm came there. It took the whole roof of the house. From the lenta. The whole roof of the house was taken away. They had to call us. We went there to rescue them. Praise Master Jesus. When you are born again, you become like a wind. A storm. 
you cannot be stopped. Praise Master Jesus. On behalf of God's servant, I decree and declare that you won't be stopped this month in the name of Jesus. In this month of signs and wonders, no one will be able to stop you in the name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Even Jesus were unable to stop him. Another thing, a wind, you cannot catch it. You cannot catch it. You cannot take captive wind. The same applies to the child of God who is born again. No one can take you into captivity. Praise Master Jesus. If you want to catch wind like this, you find it escape. That the same way applies to your enemies. When they want to take you to captivity, you will escape out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise Master Jesus. One is what feel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is a wonder working God. Mungu wetu ni Mungu mtenda miujiza. And also we are a wonder working children. Na sisi ni watoto watenda miujiza. Praise Master Jesus. One is what Now the feel. question is what to do to operate in supernatural? Swali ni tufanye nini ili tutembee katika uongo? What to do to operate in supernatural? Nini tufanye tutembee katika uongo? So operating in supernatural does not occur normally. Kutembea katika ungu wa kutokei tu. There are things you have to do. Kuna mambo ya kufanya. Praise Master Jesus. Wana Yesu wa sifiwe. Number one, engage the force of prayer and fasting. Kitu cha kwanza, usisha ile nguvu ya maombi na kufunga. Prayer and fasting subdue the flesh. Kufunga na kuomba kuna tisha mwili. And therefore allow the spirit to manifest. Na kurusu roho itawale. Praise Master Jesus. Wana Yesu wa sifiwe. Hallelujah. Wana Yesu wa sifiwe. When we pray and we fast. Tukifunga na kuomba. You know, human being has got three parts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The body, tunabwili, the spirit, nafsi, and the soul. Na roho. When you are, you are born again, ukiokoka, it is your spirit which is transformed. Ni roho yako ndiyo Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It carries the nature of God. Na Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It carries the ability of doing signs, wonders, and miracles inside it. Inabeba ndani yake uwezo wa kubeba when we are operating in supernatural, it is not the work of flesh. It is the work of the spirit. Our regenerated spirit. Yes, after being born again, your spirit is regenerated. That nature of God is imposed into it. Hallelujah. Now, so we need to, to fast and Pray. When we fast and we pray, we, we subdue the body. We allow our spirit to manifest. To gain dominion over the situations. To gain dominion over circumstances. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That, that is what fasting helps us when we fast. We shall do this flesh. And we allow the spirit now to come into manifestation. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6 to 8. The Bible says when we pray and we fast, our light break forth. Like in the morning. Like kama, in the morning. Kama, kama that means we have access to revelation when we pray and we fast. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. You know, in this book of um, Galatians, yes, that book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. Galatia 5, 16 to 18. Yes. The Bible says, this I say, then walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yes, uh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to, uh, to other, so they cannot do things that you would. Kwa sababu mwili utamani ukashindana na roho. 
na roho shindana na mwili kwa maana hizi zimepingana hata mwezi kuyafanya mnayoyataka haleluya haleluya you see there is a contradiction between the there is a fighting between the spirit and the flesh kwa kuna mashindano kati ya mwili na roho the spirit want to manifest to do signs wonders and miracles roho inataka ivirishe ishara miujiza na maajabu but the body also lakini mwili pia want to manifest its last unataka udhirishe tamaa zake there is a contention there kwa kuna mapambano hapo between a spirit and the body kuna mashindano now, kati ya mwili na roho na ukifunga when you fast ukifunga you subdue the flesh unaotisha mwili you give the power to the spirit unaiwezesha roho for the spirit to manifest that godly nature ili roho iweze kudhihirisha ule the nature of signs wonders and miracles ile hali ya ishara ni ujaza wa maajabu it is very difficult for a christian who does not fast and pray to operate in miracle signs and wonders ndio maana ni ngumu sana kwa mkristo ambaye hafungi kutembea katika ishara ni ujaza na maajabu find out in this church not all the people are fasting you may find out even to this church not all the people there are people who are sitting here but they are not fasting unaweza kukuta hata hapa kanisani kuna watu wamekaa hapa lakini wanataka kutembea katika supernatural lakini wanataka kutembea katika one day jesus told the israelian there the jew siku moja yesu aliwaambia wale wayahudi that if you are children of ibrahim kwa kama nyinyi wana wa ibrahim do the works of ibrahim zitendeni kazi za ibrahim if you are children of bishop david oedepo kama nyinyi watoto wa skofu oedepo do the works of bishop david oedepo zitendeni kazi za skofu oedepo i had him one day said nilimsikia siku moja anasema he fasted for one year anasema alifunga mwaka mzima praise master jesus bwana yesu that our bishop david oedepo baba yetu wa skofu oedepo and you find out the children of the child of bishop david oedepo sasa unaona wale watoto wa skofu oedepo does not want to fast how afungi but she's confessing all his confession i'm a miracle i'm a wonder i'm a miracle ana kiri kwamba mimi ni ishara mimi ni miujiza lakini afungi it does not the not just happen like that haitokei hivyo praise master jesus bwana yesu asifiwe you have to fast inatakiwa ufunge subdue that flesh utisha uo mwili the spirit will get power roho itapata nguvu and you do signs wonders and miracles na ishara miujiza na maajabu haleluya haleluya praise master jesus bwana yesu asifiwe paul paulo was a prayer and fasting giant alikuwa ni jitu ambaye alikuwa so anafunga na kuwa he was able to operate in supernatural ili muwezesha kutembea katika uongo second corinthians chapter 11 verse 27 wa korinto wa 2:11 27 Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Yes, the Bible says in in weariness and in painfulness in watching often in hunger and in thirst in fasting often in cold and in nakedness. Katika taabu na masumbufu katika kukesha mara nyingi katika njaa na kiu katika kufunga mara nyingi katika baridi na kwa uchi in fasting often katika kufunga mara nyingi in fasting often katika kufunga mara nyingi that why he was able to operate in supernatural ndio maana aliweza kutembea katika uungu praise master jesus bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya haleluya one day siku moja he had a, a shipwreck on the sea kulitokea dhoruba kwenye yes, bahari there was a shipwreck that Kul- ship was destroyed kulikuwa na kuharibiwa kwa ile mashua aliyokuwa anasafiria yes praise master jesus bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya haleluya praise master jesus bwana yesu asifiwe that ship was destroyed ile merikebu iliharibiwa when the storm was attacking that ship kimbunga kilikoivamia ile merikebu the bible tells us that uh paul was we was cool was in a cool situation biblia inatuambia paulo alikuwa na utulivu alikuwa kimya people were disturbed watu wengine walikuwa wanahangaika but he paul lakini yeye Paulo the night when he slept katika ule usiku aliolala got a revelation that alipata ufunuo there will be a shipwreck kwamba kutakuwa na hiyo shida things will be lost lakini vitu vitabaribika only people will not be lost vitu watapoteza lakini watu watawaanga the life of people will be preserved maisha ya watu yataifa you know he was a spiritual giant alikuwa ni kitu la kiroho that why was able to access that kind of revelation from heaven ndio maana aliweza kupata huo funuo so while others were disturbing running scatter and hata wakati wengine wanahangaika kukimbia huko na huko paul was cool paul alikuwa ametulia akitulia kama za kimya kwenye hali ya utulivu after they have been disturbed for a long time after being disturbed for a long time baada ya kusumbuliwa kwa muda mrefu he called the captain akamuita yule nahodha he told him akamwambia you don't need to disturb yourself usijihangaishe we are not going to die here wewe hamtakufa we are not going to die here hatutakufa hapa only things will be lost vitu vitapotea so cheer up kwa hiyo tulia relax tulia praise master jesus he got that 
kind of revelation. Because was a man of praying and fasting. A lot of people here, God is speaking to us every day. But because we are the people of flesh, we don't, we don't hear him. The stomach is full of pilau. And chicken. And you can't now hear God. But if you fast, you will subdue the body. The spiritual antenna will be high. You will hear your father at any time and at any moment. And you will operate supernatural naturally. And you will operate supernatural naturally. After, after that ordeal. They, they, came, they came to a particular island there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The people helped them. Yes. The people helped the people of that island helped Paul and others. Praise Master Jesus. Now they were warming this, themselves in a fire. Sasa walikuwa And Paul took a firewood. Yes, he wanted to add more fire to that fire. There came a snake, bite him. You know, those people around there, they say, ah, this man is a wicked man. He might be a killer. He has escaped dying in the sea. Now see, this deadly snake is biting. Sasa he is going to die now. So they were watching him. What Paul did? Paul took that snake from in the fire. And he continued making stories. He continued talking. They looked at him. They looked at him. He's not dying. Praise Master Jesus. They said, this is not normal. Why? He was a fasting giant. That's why he was able to operate supernaturally like natural to him. He was able to operate supernaturally like natural to him. <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want to put this caution here. Nataka niweke tahadhari hii hapa. When we are saying this as this uh this this prophetic theme says I'm um, for signs and wonders. Tunaposema sisi ni ishara na ajabu. Praise Master Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You don't need to do big things for you to be seen that you are for signs and wonders. Hauhitaji ufanye mambo makubwa sana uonekane wewe ni ishara na ajabu. There are people stressing themselves trying to help God to, to help God to prove to the world that God is a big God God remains to be God if you succeed you remain to be God if you fail you remain to be God he is not changed he is there forever so don't kill yourself you find a person now maybe a lady hallelujah met a guy there you tell him now, I want to give you 20 million. Then you remember the teaching, I am for signs and wonders. I'll build a house. I'll buy a car. You will know that I'm for signs and wonders. Praise Master Jesus. You don't need to stress yourself. Or a guy, or a boy, a youth boy. You don't need to, other people are fabricating issues. You find a person stealing, stealing in his office in order to build a house to do nyumba. big things for the makubwa. people to see more high they sign in wonders. No. I, no, it's not like that. Sio hivo. Even in the small things you do, Hata God will manifest, manifest through them. Mungu Even, kwa in kwa Even in your speech. Even in your speech. People will see it as a sign and wonder. Watu you don't need to stress yourself to kill yourself. Praise Master Jesus. The way way you do things there in the office. People may just look at you. Like, this is kuangalia. not normal. Who is your Surely kaida? this person is born again. You don't need to stress yourself. Even in the normal things God can be seen through us. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please stand up on your feet. Sasa simama tafadhali. Stand up on your feet now. Simama kwa miguu yako. Stand up on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Now start to appreciate the Lord. Anza kumshukuru Mungu. For his word. Kwa neno lake. Give him glory. Pe utukufu. Give him honor. Pe shima. Father we celebrate you. Baba tunakusherehekea. Father we give you glory. Baba tunakupa utukufu. Thank you for your word you sent. Sante kwa neno lako ulotutumia. We give you glory. Tunakupa utukufu. We give you honor. Tunakupa heshima. In the name of Jesus. Karika jina la Yesu. Now pray for the grace to operate in the supernatural. Omba neema ya kutembea katika huu. Grace to operate in 
supernatural. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the grace to operate in supernatural this month. In the mighty name of Jesus. Also pray for the grace of praying and fasting. The grace of praying and fasting. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the grace of praying and fasting in the name of Jesus. Empower us, O Lord. Empower us, O Lord, to overcome the lust of flesh, to engage in a prayer and fasting in the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you are here, you are not born again. You want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Please lift up your hand. We will lead you to Christ and you will operate in supernatural. You cannot operate in supernatural if you are not born again. If you want to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior, lift up your hand, please. Lift up your hand. And in our viewing centers there, lift up your hand. If you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, yes, hallelujah. Please come forward. Please come forward. And in our viewing centers, please attend to them there. Bring them forward to the altar. Please follow this prayer after me. Follow this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the grace of salvation. For the grace of salvation that has been released unto me. I confess that I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Wash me by your blood. Delete my name. From the book of death. Write my name. In the book of life. I confess today. That I have been born again. I will follow you. I will serve you. In all the days of my life. Amen. Clap your hand together for Jesus. Please attend to them. Please wake us. And in our viewing centers there, please attend to them. Clap your hand for Jesus now as we welcome our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If that clap is for Jesus, make it be that. Lift up your voice and appreciate him for sending his word again to us. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. No one is like unto you. Thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you. Is somebody thanking him at all? In Jesus' glorious name. Before we partake of the communion, I want you to sit down for a moment. Please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Indeed, you and I are for signs and for wonders. But it does not happen by wishing it. We must take responsibility. And yesterday we talked about it's all about understanding what new birth carries. And secondly, today, that if you must walk in signs and wonders, you must engage the force of prayer and fasting. No one will walk in signs and wonders or will operate in the supernatural without the force of prayer and fasting. As of Apostles chapter 4, Reading from verse 19. Because of them, go to verse, 20, uh, verse 22. Okay, go down also. Go, go down. Shuka. And be let go, verse 23. And be let go, verse 23. They went to their own company. And reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And 
when they have heard that na waliposikia their voice wakampazia mungu sauti zao and say lord that are god kwa moyo mmoja ukisema mola wewe ndio mungu made heaven and earth ndio aliyefanya mbingu na nchi and they see and all that is in them na bahari na vitu vyote vilivyo who by the mount of thy servant david have said na yule nena kwa roho mtakatifu kwa kinywa cha baba yetu daudi that is the wording of the prayers of the apostles hayo ndio maombi yao mitume and he say why did the hedge in rage and the people imagine a vain thing sema mbona mataifa wamefanya ghasia na makabila wametafakari batili na ufalme wa dunia umejipanga who last we are gathered together against the lord and against his christ na kwa wamefanya shauri pamoja juu ya bwana na juu ya kristo wake go to verse 28 because of time kwa sababu ya muda nenda mstari wa 28 and verse 29 mstari wa 29 that's and say now behold they are threatened basi sasa bwana yaangalie matisho yao grant unto thy servant that with all boldness they may speak thy word ukawajalie utumwa wako kunena neno lako kwa ujasiri wote and look at my emphasis verse 30 na msisitizo zaidi wangu uko katika mstari wa 30 by stretching forth thy hand to heal nyosha mkono wako kuponya and that signs and wonders ishara na maajabu may be done vifanyike by the name of the holy child jesus kwa jina la mtumishi wako mtakatifu yesu mstari wa 31 and when they have prayed hata walipokwisha kumuomba mungu place was shaken mali pale walipokusanyika pakatikiswa and we are assembled together and where they were assembled together walipokusanyika pakatikiswa all feel with the holy ghost na wote wakajaa roho mtakatifu remember they were feeling the holy ghost in chapter 2 kumbuka ni sura ya pili walijazwa na roho mtakatifu but there was a threat against their life lakini kulikuwa na vitisho dhidi ya maisha yao the jews are threatening that nobody should preach jesus walitishiwa kwamba wasimuhubiri yesu they went back to their own company and reported everything that happened wakaenda kwa wenzao wakawaambia kila kilichotokea they lifted out their voice wakainua sauti zao one of the wordings of their prayers moja ya maneno ya maombi yao was for them to see signs and wonders ilikuwa wao waone ishara na ajabu no believer will operate in the supernatural hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kutembea katika huu that believer is not ready to fast and pray kama huyo muamini hayuko tayari kufunga na kuomba in the school of the supernatural prayer and fasting is a must katika shule ya ishara na miujiza kufunga na kuomba ni lazima otherwise you'll be operating naturally like any other unbeliever vinginevyo utatembea kikawaida kama mtu mwingine asiamini if a person who were with Jesus they had him they saw the miracles kama wale mitume ambao walikuwa na Yesu waliona miujiza the holy ghost came upon them at the upper room roho mtakatifu alishukia but to see signs and wonders ili kuona ishara na ajabu they have to pray ili takiwa waombe Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I'm not hearing a bigger amen. Sisikii amen. Please you have to take responsibility to pray. Tafadhali hembu wajibika kuomba. And there is no end to prayer. Na hakuna mwisho wa maombi. But I want to remind you again. Lakini nataka nikukumbushe tena. And to pray and sustain the prayer fire. Kuomba na kuhudumisha huo moto wa maombi. You must learn to pray in the Holy Ghost. Lazima ujifunze kuomba katika Roho Mtakatifu. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Wa Efeso 6:18. Praying always. Kuomba siku zote. With all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Kwa maombi yote na sara katika roho. Why must you pray in the spirit? Kwa nini lazima uombe katika roho? Roman chapter 8 verse 26. Wa Rumi 8:26. The spirit also roho nae pia help our weaknesses. Utusaidia katika udhaifu wetu. You read it in the NIV version. Ukisoma katika tafsiri hiyo nyingine. Okay, in Genesis say our infirmities. Tafsiri hiyo inasema ule udhaifu wetu. The reason many don't pray. Sababu wengi kwa nini hawaombi? Is because they don't engage praying in the holy ghost ni kwa sababu hawahusishi maombi ya lugha au ya roho mtakatifu you be tired praying only in your understanding ukiomba kwa ufahamu wako utachoka tu the spirit we engage the holy spirit in prayer by praying in the holy ghost tunamhusisha roho mtakatifu kwenye maombi kwa kuomba kwa lugha habi the spirit helps our infirmities kadhalika nae roho utusaidia katika udhaifu wetu we know not what we should pray kwa maana hatujui kuomba jinsi tupasaje for the spirit He said make it intercession for us. Lakini roho mwenyewe utuombea kwa kuugua. We warnings which cannot be uttered. Kusikoweza kutamkwa. And verse 27 say he that know 
he that searched the heart. No way to what is the mind of the spirit. No way to what is the mind of the spirit. Because he make it intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Today, many believers only speak in tongues occasionally. Leo, wa mini wengi wana nena kwaluga tuki kawaida. No. Apan. Hallelujah. Apan. Remember in Matthew, in Mark chapter sixteen, verse eighteen. Marco, kumi na sita, kumi na nani? Follow them that believe. Ishara hizi zita fuata wote wa minio. If Simon must follow you. Ili ishara ikufuate. He say they shall cast out devils in my name. Wata toa pepo kwa jina langu. Also in my name, they shall speak with new tongues. Kwa jina langu wata nena kwa luga mpia. Speaking in tongues. Kunena kwa luga. Provoke signs and wonders. Inachotea ishara na majabu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. It's not about pray, oh God, make me a sign. Si jambu la kumbia mungu ni fanya ishara. You must pray in the spirit. Lazima uombe katika roho. Abundantly. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. Praying in the spirit is a prayer facilitator. Kuomba kwa roho huchochea maombi. Is a major facilitator in prayer. Ndiyo kichocheo kikubwe cha maombi. And what more you need to know. Zaidi unachuitaji kufahamu. Praying in the spirit. Kuomba katika roho. Help us to pray tirelessly. Utosaidia kuomba bila kuchoka. Because the Holy Ghost cannot be tired. Because He's the one praying. You, you don't understand even what you are saying. Because Babu ni yeye ndi anaomba. Where are you in a chomba? He help us to pray tirelessly and abundantly. And to saidi ya kuomba sana na kuomba bila kuchoka. And praying in the Spirit help us to pray to the realm of the unknown. Na tunapomba koro tunapomba katika ulimwengu tu sio ujua. The reason we speak in the language we don't understand. Sababu kwa nini tunanena lugha tu sio ujua? Is to confirm matters in our life we don't understand. Ni kukabiliana na mambo ya maisha tu sio yajua. Speaking in this language is a mystery you are speaking. Unaponena kwa lugha hii unanena siri. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2. Wa Korinto wa kwanza 14:2. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2. Wa Korinto wa kwanza 14:2. The Bible says look at what the Bible says. Biblia inasema hivi mwangalie Biblia inachosema. Speak it in an unknown tongue. Maana yeye ana naye kwa lugha. Speak it not unto men. Hasemi na watu. But unto God. Bali usema na Mungu. If you must if God is your father. Kama Mungu ni baba yako. You must speak in the language God understands. Inatakiwa unene ile lugha ambayo baba yako anaielewa. Speaking the language is our supernatural mother tongue. Kunena na kwa lugha ndiyo lugha yetu au lugha yetu ya kiroho. The natural man does not understand it. Ambayo mtu wa kawaida haielewi. A man that is close to you will not understand what you are saying. Yule mtu ambaye yuko karibu nawe hawezi kuelewa unachosema. You are speaking directly to God. Unanena moja kwa moja na Mungu. Is the Bible say? Biblia inasema. No man understand it what you understand it him. But in the spirit when you are speaking mysteries. Maana hakuna isikia yale lakini anena mambo ya siri katika roho yake. Speaking mysteries. Unanena siri katika roho yako. Apostle Paul was a man that fast and prayed about he said in verse 18. Mstari wa 18 mtume Paulo alikuwa akifunga na kuomba sana lakini katika mstari wa 10 mstari wa 18 he said I thank my God. Alisema namshukuru Mungu wangu. I speak with tongues. Ya kuwa nena kwa lugha. More than ye all. Zaidi ya nini nyote. He was nyote. writing to a whole church in Covent. Alikuwa kiangali, akiliandikia kanisa wa Korinto. You that are members of this church. Alisema nini nyote ambao ni washirika wa kanisa hii. I speak in tongues more than you all. Na nena kwa lugha kuliko ninyi nyote. Remember. Buka. As 1411. Matendo 14:11. They they shouted and say the gods have come to down to us. Walipaza sauti wakisema miungu imetushukia. The likeness of man. Kwa mfano wa wanadamu. One of the secret of this. Moja ya siri ya haya mambo. So that he is not ordinary human being. Waliona hawa sio binadamu wa kawaida. He say one of his secret is what he said. Moja ya siri walosema ni moja hii aliyosema. Thank God. Asema namshukuru Mungu. I speak in tongues. Nena kwa lugha. More than you all. Zaidi ya ninyi nyote. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. I want to, to I want to provoke you tonight. To pray in the spirit more than ever before. Uombe kwa lugha sana. You are not praying for bread, you are not praying for blood. Auombei chakula. Even you are you are speaking mysteries. Unanena siri that will make you not to pray for bread and butter. Ambazo zitakufanya usiombe chakula. When you are praying in the Holy Ghost. Unapoomba kwa lugha. You are building up your most holy faith. Unaijenga ile imani yako takatifu. Jude chapter 1 verse 20. Dearly beloved 
building up your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You are building your most holy faith. And it takes faith to operate in the supernatural. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Most of the time you have a burden to pray. And you don't even know what to pray for. It's a time to jump and start praying in the Holy Ghost. Don't stop praying in the Holy Ghost. And the body will be lifted. Most of the time your body is not responding. Symptoms is guiding up in your body. It looks as if fever want to come. Stand up from the bed and start speaking in the Holy Ghost. You are speaking mysteries. The devil understands Swahili. The, the, the devil understands English. Understand French. Understand every language you can speak. The only language the devil does not understand is the language of the spirit. Anytime you pray in the Holy Ghost, you cut the devil off from your conversation. Amen. I see uh, our father in the house, in, the, in this commission. Baba yetu katika udumahi. Pray abundantly in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And both our fathers in faith have gone to be with the Lord. Somebody like Smith we also want to say, I don't wait for the Spirit to move me. If the Spirit don't move me, I move the Spirit. And what, by praying in the Holy Ghost. The church is not praying in the Holy Ghost. We only pray a prayer of, of one hour. We can only pray in Holy Ghost for just one minute. Let me tell you this as I close. Five minutes of praying in the Holy Ghost is more effectual than, than 20 minutes of praying in your understanding. You can operate in the supernatural until you learn how to pray in the Holy Ghost. Stand up on your feet and lift up your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Lift up your voice and speak in tongues. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit. Help you to charge yourself. He help you to assess revelations and mysteries. Lift up your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost. Leshwakatando breshuba alabra kata brasholia babalandolia alikote bralia babala bolabo alia babala brakatolo bushi alabala balabala bo abrala basheka bralia kato ibralia kata bralia babala balabala ba. Aliya baba shala bala bala shala baliya baba liya akito bre shekato ibraliya baba lando lobo shiela ba alando bre kito shakiata alando bre kita leya bala ba alabra te koto ibrande ka braliya shulia baba ba alando bre lindo liya baba bali katusha ikiata brali sho lando bre lisho ikete ketu shiketu kalande ibrande kute ketu shaka baba. Alande kabo alisho kaba alaba baba lando bekete eke tu ke tu shiaka aliko ti balande tuba e brandu shika braliando e belebo shikete eke teke toko toko to e kita abalande eke tu balande kata bralia baba alande brali kote e shua kata bralia baba alaba baba baba bala braka talaba alaba lebo shaka taka ta e ki atoke Tobrelia, Eshua Kaba, Labralaba, Alaba, Alabalaba, Alabalabo Sheke Toka Labalaba, a Braka Takato, Eketeke Toko Tolobo, a Braninda, Branda, a Kataka Toko Tolobo, Ekia Toshia, La Kateke To, Eketu Shaka Bralia, Alan de Cabrali Solia, Ekita Kata, Eketu Kata, Eketu Shaka Bralika Tobrelia, Epande Breka Bababa, a Braka, a Lakatobe, Lando Peket. 
to shakaba alika to prekanto ishwa ka tile eke to kotunde liako eki atakaba ayuli ababa alando eke teke tu kataka taka tu sha eki to katabra e pule e pule ke tu shiande e boli e bolila e bolilanda e likaba lando eke to prekande eke tu la eko tilando pre e shu e bulande kato e boliso e brala balika tali abalaba e shuande ke e kitaka leando pre shuakaba la kateke toko toloboshia e branda kata e balaba la bali abalaba alande kato shia katulia molobonde e ketu katu 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 kata e kuta kata e brakande e brakatu shika e brali shobre e shuande alando pre lando kata katulia e shua kata la balaba aya aliande lebo e brala boshi la ba anda la bali ya baba ba e brala boshi ya abali ya koteke to e koteke tu keti kata la ba e shuke tuba la koteke to lebo e brala bonde katisha alande kapa la brala bo e bali ya baba la brala ba ala brala bo shaki ya tala ba alando pre kete e ketu kata e shua ka la koteke to brali ya baba a boshi ya la baba alande ala brala bo shake toke Eke teke tolobo, e bala ba sholobo liya bala bala ba, aya la bala ba sholobo liya, ala ba 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 bala 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 ba, obre katoko taka toka ta, e shuaka balande, eke teka taka ta, e shuaka ba 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 ba, aliya kata kata, e brando bre liya baba, la katoko tokia, eke toka la brande kalo braliso, e bala ba shoka toka, e kia toka taka ta, aye la kete kato bre lianda, a ba 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 la bra. Makataka tu shianda, eki toka, makataka toke te, eke toke toka taka taka toliba, eke teke to shika, eki ataka taraba, e bala bala bosha laba, akatoke tu shanda, enda la boshi akababa, ala la baba, abando, e braka, akatu inde la boshi anda, abalicho, e kutande kuta koti ando bala, e shua kababa, e ku, e ke toko to, e ke tu chaka cha, mokindo, e bali ande. Kuta eshuka ba moli ande kuti ande kalo bali ando bakate ke tu shakata iki tu kando makaka katu kitu kuta kati shi kitu kia eki toko toko tu landeka eku balaba ayala bando beke tu sha eku tanda liaba eshuka alaba baba alaba bali kota eshuka ba bala bala ba aye bali aba aye li aba baba eshuka taka to eke teke toko to eke Eke toko tolo bo ekuta eshua kababa ekiata abala bala bo sheke toka ekiata kababa eshua kabala bala bala ba. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. In Jesus' glorious name. Karega jina tukufla Yesu. I'm not hearing a loud amen. Siski amen. If you are here, you are not baptized. In the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues. Kama hapa ujapata ubatizo wa kunena kwa luga. Waro mtakatifu kwa ushaidi wa kunena kwa luga. To attend foundation class this Saturday. Nataka uthiri ya kwa singi juma mosini. You'll be taught what is all about and you'll be prayed for. Utafundisho kusiana na kubatizo wa mtakatifu. Your prayer life will be zero if you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues. Kwa sababu maisha yako yatakuwa si kitu kama utapata ubatizo huu waro mtakatifu kwa ushaidi wa kunena kwa luga. What kind of prayer will you pray that you can... Pray and sustain prayer for 30 minutes. No. In fact, what you'll be doing will be vain repetition. The words will finish in your mouth. But when you are praying in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is the one praying. And as you, as you are praying, you see some mysteries will be revealed to you. There might be something you have forgotten. You might even be looking for something you don't know where it is. As you are praying, the Holy Ghost will put it in your mind. It might be a decision you want to take. As you are praying, the Holy Ghost will tell you what to do. There are many advantages of praying in the Holy Ghost. You can't afford to be a Christian and not baptize in the Holy Ghost. Bila kubatizo kwa ushaidi kwa rombe katifu. 30 minutes, even though you can't sustain 30 minutes, one hour, start somewhere. 
Hata kama hauwezi kuomba kwa dakika 30 au saa moja anda anza kwa muda fulani. You don't need to feel anything is a language. Hauhitaji uanze kujihisi kitu fulani lugha tu. You don't need to, you don't need any feeling in your body to speak it. Hauhitaji kuhisi kitu fulani katika kuona. You don't kuhisi need any feeling to speak Kiswahili. Hauhitaji kujisikia kila mtu fulani ili uongee Kiswahili. You don't need any feeling to speak this is a supernatural tongue. Hi ni lugha ya kiungo. We belong to a kingdom and every kingdom have a language. Tuko katika ufalme, kila ufalme una lugha yake. The kingdom of God have a language. Ufalme wa Mungu una lugha yake. And that is what we just spoke now. Hicho ndicho tulichokinena sasa. It's refreshing, it's revelational. You are speaking message. Ina siri, unanena siri. You say somebody say I'm, I just pray in the Holy Ghost and sickness disappear. You didn't Tum. say sickness go. Mtu mwingine anasema niliomba tu kwa lugha na ugonjwa kupotea ukapotea sikuambia ugonjwa uende. You have connected to God. Ni kwa sababu umejiunganisha na Mungu kupitia kwa namna hiyo. This mystery that handles sicknesses. Utakuwa umehusisha ile nguvu ambayo inashughulika na ugonjwa. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. Bishop Abiyoye said if Skofu you don't Abiyo understand nasema. what is happening in your life. Skofu Abiyoye anasema kama uelewi nini kinatokea kwenye maisha yako. Pray in the language you don't understand. Omba kwa lugha usiyoielewa. It is mysteries versus mystery. Ni siri inakabiliana na siri. Step forth your hands toward the corner. Lift up your voice. You know so yako. Whatever you desire. Chochote ambacho unakitamaa. It's my prayer that your prayer life is revived today. Nimeombea huko kwamba Mungu Jesus live a life of prayer and fasting. Maisha yako maombie na amsho leo. Yesu alishaisha our prayer life via this communion table today. Nabie baba kupitia ushirika huu. Infamity, every prayer weakness. Every prayer infamity, every prayer weakness. In the name of Jesus, let it be so. He lost of every prayer infamity. Lord, he lost of every prayer low weakness. Oh, fear the blood and the and the flesh of Jesus. Lord, let our prayer utter. Mother Lord, not be quenched. Let it continue to burn. Let it continue to burn. Our zeal for fasting. Our zeal for prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praying in the day, praying in the midnight, praying all the time. Because you say men ought always to pray and not to faint. Jesus. Everything that is a hindrance to our prayer life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be swallowed by the blood of Jesus. This is is now your flesh and your Sasa blood strengthen us because they move. that wait upon you you Sabuali. renew the strength let the strength of everyone be renewed let everyone Kila moyo yetu. who have forgotten law, the lifestyle of prayer everyone who is struggling to pray Jesus I decree a new fire of prayer baptize us afresh with the spirit of grace and supplication fear this communion heal deliver and let there be instant healing and, and deliverance miracles today. In Jesus name. Please come and partake of the communion with your faith. Why are you saying? In the blood There is power mighty in the blood, there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is wonder walking power in the blood. There is power.
Father, we give you all the glory Baba, for this second day. For this second day, we give you all the praise for everyone, Lord, gathered everywhere today in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that came here sick by the word you had and by the mystery of the communion. Go, you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that came with any burden, that burden is lifted now in the name of Jesus. That thing that is a consign. God have turned into a testimony. You are returning tomorrow with your testimony. And not hearing a faithful amen. And I decree your prayer altar will not be quenched by the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. And not hearing a louder amen. And everyone here who have been suffering from prayer infirmity. Be healed from that prayer infirmity in the name of Jesus. And I decree fresh upwelling of the spirit of grace and supplication. And I decree as you pray, you shall get results in the name of Jesus. Christ. As you pray, your answers will drop immediately in the name of Jesus. Go in peace. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. No evil will be for you. The Holy Ghost will lead you back to your various houses. And at your returning tomorrow, you shall have a testimony. In Jesus' glorious name. It is my year of breaking limits. Then what eyes have not seen or ear heard shall be your experience all through the year 2020. Congratulations. Amen and amen.